Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Dental Prophylaxis. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be assisting you with this procedure today. Dental prophylaxis, commonly known as a teeth cleaning, is a critical procedure in which a dental hygienist not only removes plaque and tartar from your teeth, but they can also instruct and demonstrate proper oral hygiene care. It is recommended that everyone get their teeth cleaned at least once every six months. If you're at a higher risk for periodontal disease due to age, tobacco use, or medical conditions such as diabetes or HIV, it is recommended that you have your teeth cleaned more often. Our patient today hasn't had a teeth cleaning in nearly a year, so they're certainly due for one. Let's put on our gloves and get started. Before we begin, would you like to learn about some common myths and misconceptions regarding general oral health? No problem. Let's get started. You'll need to measure the depth of the periodontal pockets around each tooth using a periodontal probe. The probe is inserted with light pressure between the tooth and gum. When the probe is inserted, it will result in obscuring a section of the periodontal probe's tip. The first marking visible above the pocket indicates the measurement of the pocket depth. Measurements of 1, 2, or 3 millimeters generally signify that our patient's gums are in good health but measurements of 4 millimeters or more indicate the presence of periodontal disease. Why don't you go ahead and use the probe to measure the depth of our patient's periodontal pockets? As you probe, I'll call out the measurements. 3 1 2 2 1 4 Great job. I'll take it from here. 3 1 2 Based on the measurements, our patient could stand a floss a bit more regularly, but other than that, it appears that their gums are in good health. Now we need to remove the dental plaque and tartar on both the surface and below the gum line using a scaler. These choppers are looking great. Next, we'll use our toothpaste to polish our patient's teeth. Toothpaste, known as prophylaxis paste to dentists, is a gritty substance that is applied using an angled attachment. This attachment is inserted into our handpiece. Which flavor of paste does our patient want? Mint, my personal favorite. Wow, that's fresh smelling. Now we'll use the water from our air water syringe to wash off the paste. Don't forget the suction. And finally, we'll need to floss the patient's teeth. Perfect! Their teeth haven't looked better. We all know that we need to regularly brush and floss to keep our teeth and gums healthy. But what else can we do? Get a new toothbrush or change the head of your electric toothbrush at least once every three months. Over time, your toothbrush collects bacteria, and the longer you hang on to it, the more bacteria you're putting into your mouth. Obviously, you want to avoid foods and drinks that are high in sugar, but you also want to make sure you're not leaving out those that are high in calcium, vitamin C, and vitamin D. 
Foods such as apples, celery, raw carrots, and even popcorn can also help clean your teeth. So if you can't brush after a meal, eat an apple. Your teeth will thank you. Looking to keep your breath clean? Make sure you pick up the alcohol-free mouthwash. Mouthwashes that contain alcohol can dry out the tissues in your mouth, causing them to become more vulnerable to bacteria. By cleaning your tongue with a tongue scraper, you're eliminating plaque and the pesky bacteria that can cause bad breath. As stated before, you should schedule a teeth cleaning at least once every six months. This not only helps keep your teeth and gums healthy, but your dental hygienist can help you reinforce good oral hygiene habits. These are just a few tips to help you maintain good dental health. Remember, keeping your teeth healthy is just as important as keeping the rest of you healthy. And that's a dental cleaning. Fantastic job! Let's see what else you can do on SurgerySquad.com.